Angela Rayner. Mr Speaker, maybe he should go back to his sun lounge and let me take over. Because the truth is, the truth is, Mr Speaker, they were warned about the problems that we faced and the energy crisis that we faced. And there we have it, absolutely nothing to help the people up and down the country who are working themselves to the ground and still struggling to make ends meet. This is a Conservative Party that does not care about working people. Families... Families, Mr Speaker, across the country are worried about heating their homes yep. while he's complaining about having to share his 115-room taxpayer-funded mansion with the Foreign Secretary. Yeah. <laughs> just as, Mr Speaker, just as the truth hurts, doesn't it? Just as his government are making choices that are making working families' lives harder. A typical family, Mr Speaker, are facing a tough winter this year. Universal credit down a thousand quid, rent up a hundred and fifty quid, gas bills up a hundred and fifty quid, taxes up and food prices are soaring. Yeah. Working people will have to choose whether to feed their kids or heat their homes. The choice for the Deputy Prime Minister is will he make their lives easier or harder? So what will he choose, Mr Speaker? Will the government cancel the universal credit cut. Yeah.